Well, welcome to this matchup. This is the Charles Malinowski Winter Classic. It's the one dog, a squad taking on the Reds Dogs. No score. Played about five minutes or so in this contest. Uh, Wendage in red with black and white trim. They're attacking right to left. As we'll have a shot clock violation on the Res Dogs. We're wearing white with black. Attacking left to right. Starting between the pipes is Dustin Hill. And meanwhile for Wendage it is Fred Renault. Here comes Wendage. In possession of the ball is Lesage. He sends it out. Shot fake. And now Wendage has to retreat. Lesage walks in. Gets a shot away. And that one handled by the tender, it's kicked out, and Wendage might have an opportunity here, but the balance uh, was lost there by Charlotte Charal, 17 in red, Charal in the corner trying to get the ball, but it'll be scooped up by the Res Dogs, working with an abbreviated shot clock as Anderson bounces one up the center, 13 to go in the first half of this one, as the Res Dogs bring it in, but they will retreat. Trying to get something going here. A shot from in tight by Kevin Hill. Often we've got a penalty call for a high stick. It's going to go against Wendage. Philip Belanger going off to the sid bin for two minutes or less. Obviously, Wendage hoping that it is the latter. Well, the West Bay Bombers just lost their second match of the tournament. So right now, as it stands, the Gators are 2-0. The Res Dogs are 1-0. Wendage 0-1. And the Bombers are 0-2. Of course, the top two seeds move on to the semifinals. And now, Wendage killing off a penalty. And if they lose this game, then both they and the Bombers are eliminated. Hill to the left side. Here's a shot. Score! Kevin Hill gets the goal, and that'll put the Res Dogs in front by a score of 1-0. The power play tally. We have uh, we have the penalty relieved and taking the draw. Craig Atwood, seven in white. He's going to go up against Belanger, who was just released. By the way, Atwood wearing the Mohawk Stars jersey. You don't recognize that, of course. Uh, I don't know if that means he's an old timer or if I'm an old timer because I can recognize that from the old OLA days back in I want to say 2003 to 2005. Maybe 0-2 on to 0-5 as a stuff attempt does not go. Picked back up by Odette, number 9 in red. Trying to drive to the goal. Shut down by Vince Cree, who's uh, going after it again and making life dif a little difficult for Bordeaux. Shot clock down to 4. Lesage's shot in tight is going to be stopped. Anderson picks up the rebound. Anderson with one hand on his stick. And the ball goes in front where Atwood... Scoops it up for the Res Dogs. Up one nothing with nine with ten forty to go. By the way, there is no power play. It's five on five. They just haven't taken a penalty up off the board. Now we've got a whistle and a penalty away from the ball. I think Cree's gonna get it. And when Doge will go to work on the power play with an opportunity to try and get back in this game. They had a rough outing. In game one of this tournament, losing 12 to 2 against the, a very good looking Bishop's Gator squad. They're very young, they're very bouncy. And when you have youth and you have enthusiasm, well, maybe that might be the formula to win. When Doggy looking for the right formula to tie this one up, trailing 1 0, it's Lesage in the middle of the floor, gets it over to the right hand side. And a shot by Nick Groluwi will not hit the target. As back come the Res Dogs, getting across the restraining line. And, of course, that is uh, maybe a different a different rule here. It's the blue line, which is actually the restraining line. And they're playing with the CLA rules, or the OLA rules, I should say. So, again, they have to keep the ball on this side of the restraining line. And the shot clock is running. LaForms pass deflected. And Caribs to Wendage, and back come the squad from just outside of Quebec City. Akiwika. Akiwicha, sorry. I forgot. I'm pronouncing it with a little bit of a Mohawk uh, Mohawk slang, but of course, Wyandot and Mohawk are different. 
Lesage backhands it over, gets the ball back in the middle, to the right-hand side. Grow Louis, down low. A stop attempt, shoulder away. And a rebound, picked up off the hop. Second chance opportunity coming up for Wendage. Lesage in the middle, walks in, gets it over to the right-hand side. Not going to get a shot. Lesage will, and that one will be punched away by Dustin Hill. Goes out of play. Fresh 30 for the squad in red. And now it's intercepted. Good anticipation by Lennox Mitten. And this pass will be thrown away. Good read, though, by the Res Dogs defender. As when Doggy breaks in. Of course, the rules in the round robin, two 20-minute halves, running time. Centering feed! And I don't think, I don't know if he'll got a piece of it, but regardless if he did or not, it's still one nothing. And back they come as the penalty is waiting to expire. But when Doggy will force a turnover here, Penalty over, so the Res Dogs kill it off. As Jesse Longbow had it stripped away, he's coming back defensively. When Doggy loses it, and it's Longbow, and we have a stoppage in play. And it's a turnover on the Res Dogs, so when Doggy will gain possession, Jonathan Dubois sends it over to the right side. Here's a shot from about 30 feet, handled by Dustin Hill. That was Sherrall getting a shot. On and a second try stopped by the stick of the netminder from Oswegan. And the Res Dogs pick it back up, leading this one by a score of one to nothing. Hill. That's Chauncey Hill, sorry, 57. Or Chad Hill, 57. Ball bounces to the corner and a big hit by Vince Cree as he introduces himself to Blaise Gore Louis. Four seconds to go on the shot clock, and now we've got a whistle, and I think Cree is going to go to the sin bin. Nope, sorry, it's a Wendage penalty, and some interesting stuff happening in front of the uh, Akiwicha goal. Power play coming up for the Res Dogs. Anderson scores! Well, all that's taking place. Anderson has made it 2-0 Res Dogs. It's an even strength goal. Sorry, it was just uh, two players that got sent to the sin bin for matching minors. So the Res Dogs have a 2 to nothing lead. Oh, nice shot by uh, Anderson, given all that time and space. And when Doggy kind of sleepwalking on defense, not necessarily the formula for success. And it's scooped up. And into Wendage zone come the Res Dogs. And a bounce pass will sail back. Picked up by the netminder Dustin Hill. 5.50 and counting left to go in this first half. Anderson dancing his way through the middle. Shoots! And he puts her home. Far side. And it's 3-0. In favor of the Res Dogs. And you know what? You can feel this one getting a little chippy as we see some interaction between the Wendage defense and Chad Hill, 57 and white. Things are getting a little testy here. Remember, this is the second day of the game of the day for both these two teams. Uh, both really played relatively drama free first games of the tournament. It was relatively drama-free, so we'll see what happens as uh, we get into the last four or so of this first half. Ball's up for grabs and scooped up by Wendage. The Akiwicha getting set as they attack. Sharon. Who nearly lost his balance. He had a little bit of a leaning tower of Pisa, and it's going to draw a penalty. One dog in there, Sharon. Oh, look out! The Res Dog just bulldogged Sharon, and now we got some pushing and shoving. Officials trying to get in there to keep the peace, and there's a fray going on in the boards. Oh, things are getting testy, and I think I said it and maybe jinxed it about two minutes ago. 
And uh, I think the Res Dogs might be shorthanded for a little while. But cooler heads seem to prevail. I think Jonathan Dubois should try to get away from the uh, Res Dogs bench, though. Stay away from each other's benches. Stay away from each other, really, at this point. There's 3.45 left to go. It's 3 nothing, And we have a little bit of a mess to deal with. We'll see if the referees, a.k.a. the janitors out here, can mop this mess up. Right now, it's Res Dogs 3, one dog A0. And you know what? I think we're going to take a little pause for the cause and come back here with an update to uh, the penalty situation. Res Dogs up by 3. Okay, so after that little dust-up, we have a hot mess worth of penalties to get to. Uh, the Res Dogs with a 5, a 2, and I believe another 2. We have a minute 40 left to go in this first half. So they are actually 4 on 3, and then the Wendage penalty expires. And while that Wendage penalty expires, the Res Dogs, I believe, are going to have to stay in the sin bin for another three minutes as the remaining three minutes of the major and another two should be going up on the board. Well, this is a great opportunity for when dog ants, they will turn it over though. The Res Dogs will scoop it up. Anderson causing a heck of a lot of fits for the Akiwicha. And not only will it be up to that as he just introduces himself Takes a cross check, pinned along the wall by two Wendage defenders, but doing a good job keeping it alive. Coming in, turn it out in front. Vince Cree offhand, and that one stop. A rebound, the flex up, and back comes Wendage. Jonathan Dubois, we're in the final minute. Dubois comes in, and that one knocked away by Dustin Hill. Oh, also, when you're on the penalty kill, it helps when your goaltender is a great penalty killer as well. We're getting down to the last 30. Oh, no, and it's brought back over the blue restraining line. That's what happens when you're used to playing on a normal box lacrosse rink, and now you have that blue line kind of in a different spot. You're used to having a little bit more room out there. Here comes Wendage. Not much time to go. Under the line, under 10, a quick stick by Grand Louis. Shut down by Hill. Maybe one last chance coming for Wendage. Shallow passes it out. And that one's going to bounce by. And that does it for the first half. 3 nothing, Res Dogs.